Uh, a lot of people have asked me over the last um, the last week or so um, to view this, or last three days, sorry, to watch the Overwatch 2 playtest. I was unable to watch it. <coughs> Asterisk. Because we had a meeting, and I say we as myself and some other content creators with Blizzard um, this past weekend. And we got to ask them some questions and talk about some stuff. And it was the first time I've ever participated in something like this. And to my knowledge, first time many people participated in something like this. So I have to say I have some hope because it was the first time we got to talk to them and give some stuff. You know, I may have gotten in a little trouble and I may have kind of, you know, because everyone in the beginning, like nobody wanted to ask the first question. And then like, at, like the first question was like kind of like a little light one. And then like they brought up tanks in that question. And I was like, oh, you tank players, right? Hello. I'm one of the last three uh, maintaining uh, main tanks on the entire ladder. Hello. Hello. And uh, so basically my question went from like, what they were probably thinking like 30 seconds. Mine was about three and a half minutes um, because I talked about basically the philosophy of the game being flawed right now. Uh, Zen being really strong. Why Zen strong? Because break can protect them. Why tanks are not fun to play right now. Uh, you know, how to change the current philosophy on making them more fun. Why double shield is strong. Why hog sucks to play with. Why it sucks to play against. What do you want person having fun as the hog player? And if you make every tank like that, you're, you're kind of going into a scary get route of the game because then nobody's having fun except for the player that's playing that hero. And if everybody's not having fun, then nobody's having fun. You get what I'm saying? So there's a lot of stuff, you know? So they had to change the rules after my question, you know, because they kind of didn't expect from, you know, um, to kind of like just lay down the law, you know? And there was a lot of agreement across the board um, with that statement. Not from Blizz side, but from creator side. April links to the Prime. Um, Steamboat links to the Prime as well. But <laughs> I have to say, How you doing? <clears throat> they told us a lot of the stuff is up to change and it's still early. But that was mostly like damage numbers and stuff from my number, from my, like, you know, obviously they have stuff, other stuff that they're wanting to rework. We couldn't ask questions, but like, how they were going to want to rework Orisa or Sigma or something like that, right? It was more of like, uh, more concise of like what's happening now, uh, which is why I took advantage and went full blast of like, you know, uh, listen, I have talked to you guys very much about this in the past. For those who don't know, um, I, this isn't to, to have my own ego, but I predicted exactly every meta that has happened in the last year and a half from balance patches, not based on nerfing that tank. So, for example, when Ryan was hard meta about eight months ago, the reason Ryan was good was one, they buffed his damage, two, they buffed his health, three, BAP was really good. So what they did was they nerfed his health and they nerfed BAP. And I said to them at the time, that's too much nerfing at once. Pick one. I said, you can keep Ryan's health and nerf BAP because BAP was oppressive. And you would still force a more dynamic meta. Did not get lesson two. We went right back into double shield hell. Now we're more, now it's a little bit more up in the air. Double shield is still extremely strong, but it's not the most dominant comp in the game. So you won't actually see it as run that much unless it's like Havana, Jumper, Junker Town, etc. You on control, you'll see some like ball comps on two CP. You'll see double shield on uh, on escort. You'll see more divey, except you know what I mean. But there's a lot of stuff. <coughs> uh, Spartan things are extended through February and Nick Newton. I don't, they all say they're tier ones. I don't know if it was a prime or a tier one. My my alerts are broken. Thanks so much, dude. Um. So basically, uh, just being into the prime for three months. Need some new OW two characters announced. I kind of wanted to like drive that home, you know. And to be honest with you, I wish I got to ask another question, but I think we're gonna, you know, I'm hoping that we're gonna get to do it again. 
um, because there has been some turnover, um, you know, with some people there. So they might not know some of the stuff I've said in the past. Um, I'm not saying like only listen to me, but I, I want to like be like, hey, I wrote these things way before they happened and told you all these things way before they happened and didn't even get listened to in a little bit. So if we're going to go into Overwatch 2 and there's not many tank players to talk talk to about why they enjoy the role and versus why other people that are like me enjoy the role or used to enjoy the role and no longer play it, you at least have someone that's a focal point to begin to ask those questions to. Regardless, though, it was definitely informative. Um, you know, they very much wanted us to stress that a lot of the numbers will change. Uh, a lot of numbers can change. So... As we watch these today, you know, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, Brig Bash's 45 damage or something like that or something similar, but no longer to stun, stuff like that, uh, those numbers are willing to change. And it definitely needs to be some polishing. I, I, I tried not to watch anything, but I accidentally watched some Super a couple nights ago, uh, and he was watching it. And so, like, I kind of got, you know, kind of got sucked in, but... I wasn't able to stream this for three days. Um, I could have technically, but like by the way we were asked, it was a, you know, we were, we could put it on, put it on YouTube right away um, because of YouTube exclusivity with Overwatch League and stuff. But streaming it was like more of a gray area. And I didn't, I just wanted to be respectful because this is my first time I've ever participated. So I was like, look, as much as I want to stream this right now, and they were like, well, we can't stop you. And I was like, okay, you know. You're not wrong, I guess. You know what I mean? As long as I watch the YouTube video part, um, they I, they couldn't really stop me. But at the same time, though, I, I didn't I don't want to sully that relationship as it's beginning to build. So I put it off for a few days. Yes, I'm late to the party. I thought it was the best idea, not only for myself, but going forward to build this relationship. If we're going to create a better game, and we're going to have a voice to help. I don't want to step on toes. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Uh, I know that was really long. And I'm sure Retro will find a way to cut that down. Or just launch it all at once. Either way. Okay. I want to watch ideally all three. Uh, I don't know how much time we'll have. Because patch comes out at two. Um, so we'll try to cruise through it. But I want to at least watch one of these and then watch Super's POV um, for one of them as well. <clears throat> because I think it's going to be important to watch a tank player, a main tank player, uh, POV. So first one up, let's watch some Dorado. Now, if you know me and you know my stream, you know I absolutely fucking despise Matthew Dorado. Idiot. Another of our collection of Overwatch 2 playtests shot during the 2021 playoffs match. We've got Dorado in its daytime. Yes, and uh, for the blue team. So this is actually really cool. Dorado in the daytime. The only problem I have is I hope it's not like Gibraltar and you're like, my eyes, you know, because it's sunset-y. But Many I think this is a cool concept to have like day and night shock. of maps. And for the red team, it'll be some of the members from the Dallas Fuel. They were able to play an early version of Overwatch 2, as you see right now. Dorado, okay, I'm, no, no disrespect, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Overwatch 1 gameplay. Okay, so Super's going to start on the Winston. Hamman's gonna start on the Winston. So for those who don't know, Winston has a right click now. Um that does like a a Tesla shot. Mm, I call it sniper monkey. I'm going to right, I'm gonna make sure in Overwatch 2 people call it sniper monkey. Quite the nuisance here. So Winston played from both sides. At this time, yeah. we, we've already been teased Winston's sort of a slight tweak to him uh in terms of a longer range capacity map. Yes, he's got mm -hmm. that alternate fire that shoots at a little bit longer range. And uh... So did you all just see the first thing that just happened out of the gate? And this is what I'm concerned with. We're not even four seconds into the... Sorry, eight seconds into the round, technically, because the doors had to open you walk out. And the Wits is already hacked. I'm going to just make this fucking clear from the start. The Sombra changes are terrible. Hacking without coming out of invis means she can't get punished. Even though it's only CC for a second, or like, it, you know what I mean? Like only one second. 
walls for eight seconds it means that all of these players up here know exactly where this Winston is. And why is that a problem? Because Winston, in high level play, especially in ranked and stuff like that, sometimes you can row through here and then get the close jump. And they, the supports don't see it till it's too late. Over here, like just the walls uh, lets everybody know where he is. Sombra rework that is in. You see the constant. Let's watch that again. Okay, let's see this. Let's say this one last time together. The Sombra changes are dog shit. This cannot Capacity. make it to live. I promise yeah, you. He's got that you will kill the game. Fire that shoots at a little bit longer On range. release. And uh, obviously with the uh, Sombra rework that is in, you see the constant hacks there from Glister on the high ground. Hanman doesn't lose. Did you see kill. that? She was going for number three. Abilities, uh, just loses him for one second, but takes some extra damage. Can we rewatch that one more time? Uh, Sombra. So he got hacked twice within the span of 10 seconds. On the high ground. Jumps high ground alone. Abilities, uh, just loses him for one second. Because there is no diva to follow up. From what happens? Discord. Left click from Zen. Sleep dart from Ana. Literally. Remember Sato Go Boom from those who were there, the co-streams? Sato Go Boom taken to a whole nother fucking level. I'm Glister and Co, but... See Zen's philosophy, okay? And I'm going to start the train for people to realize Zen is OP, okay? And now, this is how we have to be on the same team, guys. We have to be on the same team. Just because a hero is fun to play doesn't mean it's okay to make them broken. Now, you can have broken and fun like heroes and abilities at times, but if it's oppressive to the other players where they can't play the game because you picked a hero... That's when it sucks. That's when it sucks. Like, it's you can have fun with it, okay? It can be a good and fun hero, but if it, it's oppressive to the other players, it's going to suck for the game. Why Zen is bad is Zen, or I'm sorry, bad for the game and it's too strong. Zen, OG Zen in Dive. The reason Zen was played was because you could put a Discord on a target, everybody focused them with Dive. You could put an orb on somebody so you didn't have to worry about going in to heal and you could fire from a distance, just be a cannon, right? You are both the weakest on both ends, so you were a glass cannon. What happens in now's game, the, the game we have today, Brig exists. So Brig protects the Zen, and it's no longer a glass cannon, it's a fortress, because Brig can keep Zen alive, no problem. In this case, Zen is kept alive because Winston doesn't have a secondary follow-up like D.Va, or Ball, or anything like that. That would fuck up both supports. Now even Anna can keep Zen really well protected with her sleep dart and aid and her other, you know, her ability to heal. What Zen Zen's problem is, and this is when he was in GOATS, they get buffed his Discord orb to 30% damage because Zen is a tank buster. They nerfed it to 25% in 222. However, though, that was his original. Zen originally was 25% when you could pick six tanks if you pleased. The reason why 25% is too high is because there's only two tanks in the game in the current build, and in Overwatch 2, it will be one tank. You have one tank. You put one Discord orb on a tank, they're no longer able to play the game anymore. It needs... In Overwatch 2, it's probably going to be like 15%. Anything higher than 15%, you're fucked. I think, from my philosophy, any kind of damage increase or decrease higher than 15% is game-breaking. It's game-breaking. So, especially in this case... Zen needs to be severely looked at and being able to see that, look, this Discord Orb is strong. You can even make it a percentage multiplier. You can put 30% on squishies and 15% on tanks, right? Technically, it would do somewhat similar to the amount of health pool because tanks will take more damage over time with Discord. Yes, squishies will blow up much faster with a Discord Orb on them, but they're typically smaller, harder to hit, and have better abilities to survive. Tanks just have larger health pools to survive. So it's much different. Zen needs to be looked at. We'll, I think that's going to be a like common theme we're going to see today is this shit. Ground. So let's just get that out of the way now. Yeah, we have everyone's attention. That makes it pretty tough for the Winston to stick around there. Hanbin probably knew exactly what he was walking into. So because that is classically how Overwatch has been played. Boom, top, take this high ground. Yep, here it comes. So that time, actually, Zen was left alone. And that's why Zen isn't strong on his own. That's why in Dive, that was actually a perfect example of what we were just talking about. 
why Zen was super strong in dive wasn't because his survivability. It was because his ability to be a glass cannon. So right here, Ana's not able to help because they're doing something else. And Zen gets left alone, and they realize that, and Tracer and Winston dive together and kill him. Boom, blow him up. That's how Zen is supposed to exist. High damage, high value, low heals. Biotic field, but you can low see survivability. Like a, the a current build of Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch right? One, that fast, takes that away. Dive type of in Overwatch style, Two, it's still taken away. Up, as long as players on that red team, you don't get one of those situations where, where still have everyone's just chasing one kill. You know, they're able to go right in that time, make a play for Violet, <clears> which is right off the Zen now, goes over to Batiste. Super backs up there. He looks like he got caught a little Also, break, break is a big part of that. Right over the top, landing on Glitzker immediately. Um, how much bubble? Didn't catch Super that. backs up there. He looks like he got caught a little bit too far. Six hundred. Okay. Hidden Hanbin's gonna go straight over the top, landing on Glitzker immediately. FD God has to use a defensive body grenade to keep himself alive, and Hanbin quickly gets out. But Sparkle is still on takes the so much damage in the back line. Payload still coming up from the choke here, and here's the tracer. This could be nasty. Pulse bomb available. But oh, that tracer feels so smooth. Yeah, he's developed into one of the better tracers. You know. Oh, that felt so smooth to watch. Year, but three kills. For the shock, is they're gonna make their way back onto the payload to try and play some defense. And can I be honest about this soldier? The gun sounds cool, but it sounds like Lego Bastion. Tell me, this doesn't sound like Lego Bastion. Yeah, I mean, he's developed into one of the better tracers, you know, throughout the season this year. But three kills for the shock, is they're gonna make their way back onto the payload to try and play some defense. And looks like they're. I don't going know. To I'm not crazy here, about so it. You're gonna see a hold now. So you have Tyo. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Six is. I know. That soldier, doesn't sound like the soldier the gun that they showed us originally. Play, and then like remember the Overwatch Two play test or te like the gun sounds test we saw at BlizzCon? That sounded much heavier. Like that one sounds like instead of like boom 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 boom, you know? But uh, you know, fell a little bit out. But I think in this new world of five v five, right, where there's more space and more opportunity to make plays, that you can kind of use him as like a flanking type of uh, you know trace with a little bit more. So actually, one thing ability. I want to point out really quickly, which I kind of I really much like so far about Overwatch Two, um, check out the ult charges that's going on right now, um, on. On Dallas's side, they're only 95 to their first nano uh, at two minutes into the game. Now, if you guys know high level play, um, high level play supports build ult in like 30 to 45 seconds. You know, um, depending on how a fight's going and depending on respawns and stuff like that, even less. And on the other side, they're actually 94 and 56. And that's with Violet swapping. So Violet's halfway there. Violet kind of farmed up quick to 50%. But nobody, nobody really has support ults yet because only having the one tank is much harder to heal um, and build that uh, that support charge. Which, by the wow. way, uh, I don't know if it's this build, but supports were 25% uh, nerfed across the board. Now, from what I've heard, it doesn't look like that's going to make it to the live game because this, this weird 25% reduction while you're in fight for four seconds, like... But then it goes up by 25% when it's out of fight. Like, just change the fucking number. Like, if you don't like that the number is 60 HPS, like, first shot, then, then fucking, then just take away 25%. Don't, don't make it so it's like, oh, if you're in fight, in a fight, does 25% less, and then after four seconds, it'll go up. No, that's stupid. Just. Nobody wants to do fucking math mid-game. Just fucking change the number. It's stupid. And obviously the heavy pulse rifle but regardless, though, I like that the, the support ults are building much slower. Uh, because support ults are what's as well. taking this whole game here right now. Nanoblade here for Doha. Going to drive straight on in. I think he lost sight of FD God for a moment there, but he's able to follow him up and find two quick ones. The nice play in. went over towards Super here, but he's not able to do too much to stop the march of the Dallas Field, and that's an immortality field removed. Sparkle deals with Violet quickly. Angie looks yeah, pretty good. The payload making its way towards that first. Channel. I don't know why, but the right click uh, just like it just like it doesn't really make much noise. Time. So it just like see like, that ding. Sh that'll be the first point there scored, and they'll move the payload from checkpoint A now to opportunity to take checkpoint B. Fire mercy now for uh, monkey? the shock. But Tyo is well. There's one hit scan in play, it. but FD God wasn't really able to do too much to help him there at all. Hanbin, notice he's firing off some of those longer range shots yeah. here to try and finish kills. Super there. He, Almost so there's no cooldown timer on Sniper Monkey behind. anymore. You can just do it every, endlessly. And he's gonna pop it straight away I like that. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> you should see everything used here on defense to try and contain Hanbin. His MD got just oh, trying to fly beautiful. around and stay alive. But that's so, gonna be two for this Han. is actually a point I made to the, the Blizzard team. 
um, when trying to talk about tank survivability and whatnot. I told them, if you don't believe me, reference Overwatch when it was early release. Winston Primal was thought of as an extremely powerful high HP ultimate. On current build Overwatch, basically you just focus the Winston, he'll blow up. It just like I don't think I've I don't think I've enjoyed a primal in months. Like I pop it and then I just like maybe I enjoy the CC a little bit longer than go back to spawn. You know what I mean? In the old game, an older Overwatch before a lot of power creep. You basically just said, fuck off, like, fuck the Winston, just try to survive him, like, leave him alone, like, don't even bother shooting him, it's not even worth it. Now you just blow him up, you know, now you just blow him up. So I would like to return to a place where Winston Ultimate is actually feels impactful and feels like it's, yes, you give a lot of ultra, I mean, not ultra, a lot of HP and go aggressive. I don't think it's this year over four months. Okay. Unban the pain. But we also, uh, this is actually, this is another, you know, is like, the answer isn't just like give everybody more health, you know, because like you play a dangerous game at that point. Load will continue to move, and I think that's something you brought up. That's so this really is interesting, interesting right? though. You notice how soldiers on point. This actually used to be more of an off tank job, off tank or off support. Um, I say off support, like not. Depends on who the main healer is. Now there's flex support and main support, but we're talking about main healer. Like if it's like you know mercy and or if it's on a mercy, then on a stays cart because mercy can go fly up and stuff. Uh, it, it, it depends who, but it's interesting. You're gonna have soldier push it. Is that um, because the diva would push it sometimes? Um, watch now when just because you know, Winston could take space and diva could come and later. You'll put down your uh, just because she had better survivability on cart, but now you have you the soldier. That player off safety, that actually, right? you, you know, have to overextend throughout your bubble. Oh so my nice god, sparkle. Uh, I love the way Tracer plays right now. This Winston looks so fun. A bit more Tracer looks like a good time. But you can actually you know, make those kills happen. Tracer looks like a good fucking your time. Let me tell you. From inside, if you have that aim right, so adding another skill element to Winston's kit, you're able to finish those kills off. World round things is going for well, When you find a kill, uh, it sort of indicates to you to what degree. Look at Super's HP. It's already gone. It hasn't even come out yet. Dealt in order to find that kill. Soundberry, he projects it. So that's another thing that, if you guys don't know about, really quickly. All over shield, all over health in this game has changed this green. Anytime over health happens, so like I think rally, I'm not sure about rally, but rally it looks like it does. We'll see later when we see break. Uh, Lucio beat, um, Hammond shields when he pops his E, it's now this green. So there's no longer shields, armor, and stuff like it. All over health is now this one green category, uh, and that will decay, of course, over time. Is is the case of this ultimate in general? Dex were, of course, always the Lucio aficionado here. Trade of kills back and forth, but it's the immortality kills from Violet that kept the shot going. Now that's out of the picture, and Dex is going to return to the cart here to stop this stall. But you see Lucio just so looks kind of fun. Menace, right? Being able to use the speed for the team, get in, be offensive, is super as what HP? He's barely going to stay alive. Holy They're going to keep him up. He's just trying to play outside armor of the like cart. No, uh, no, it no, over health. Alive, so, so your armor, um, like you, Ryan and stuff, is still the still same. with an opportunity to push this. That is a... Filthy pulse bomb. Well, Anything that goes targeting. beyond you know, your health. Doha pool. just happened to <laughs> wander by and, and get taken down by the pulse bomb. Rally is question mark. I'm so not sure. About right. be lucky, I have to double check. Bitch. My God. Nice to see a bit of Tayo action here. Han been there being hastily topped up by Fueler as there's a nano boost on deck here for the Dallas Fuelers. Harmin looks to try and take control of this high ground. So, so my, one of my big concerns with Overwatch 2 is the, the, the game line. feeling a little empty a without the Sparkle second, now. without six players. And, he's most of the and a lot of the answer from people was, um, oh, they'll make the maps smaller. I think me and SVB, when we talked about it originally, was like, they'll probably close the maps in a little bit, you know, make them smaller and um, make it more brawly. Because that is something that they constantly refer to, is they want to make it more... Uh, I don't even use the word brawly, but it's like kind of like brawling. I don't remember the word exactly they said. But we'll see on New York. New York looks like it's a much more open map, which is more poke. So I'm confused on how that's going to work. But also, we haven't seen a single map reworked yet. So I'm kind of like, okay, like I understand, you know, is, is that actually what we're going to do or, or is it not what we're going to do? I mean, that is the, the best way to kind of deal with an ant mage. But I'll, I will say, this doesn't feel as empty right now. Doha now on the high ground, getting that first pick and it doesn't feel as empty. But it doesn't feel like a full Overwatch fight that the red team's able to win. Does that make sense? There's not really anything that can be done to interact with him. The closest thing is Tayo. It feels more like beginning the 
fight feels like how Overwatch would feel like four or five seconds in a fight. Of course, found a time extension after finding that one. Sniper monkey. You see the sniper monkey trading? Sniper monkey. Oh, it's not endless range, by the way. It has a it has a slightly longer range, but not that much. Sniper monkey. Battle of the sniper monkeys. Oh, the, the damn it, dude. Yo, let's look at that again. Want to see that again? That was beautiful. Look at this. Look at this right click from Super right here. Look at this. I don't. I I I can probably check what the damage number is. I don't know what it is, it exactly is, but let's see this. So he charges up the right click, nails him, chunks him for like half his HP. Also gets shot by something else, and just gets fucking blown up it's 50 damage so the 50 damage plus the jump up even Opening though he's getting healed by anna probably takes right, a shot at the same time winston having part of the burst the damage from in like collapsing on from incoming the, fire you know what i mean so like let's say like uh um, let's say it was tail that hit like a headshot or like a, a body shot and a headshot that bursted a lot of his hp with the 50 damage hp oh man that's so nice but you can just play a little bit at range there and do some damage. Yeah, but the thing like is, it's not really about damage, it's about survivability. Blaster, it's gonna use those my opinion right now. Of your ammunition and force you to sort of reload, but Hanbin out, doesn't have to reload. Even Hanbin right now, it, look at it, look at his HP, yeah, you, you see what happened? There, trying to chase oh my god! Hanbin able to evade him for the most part, but eventually he's gonna be Like, that wasn't even that aggressive of a play from Hanbin, he just went boom boom, you know? So like I was talking about. Sparkle has a pulse bomb and may not have to use I think Tracer looks phenomenal though. Tracer looks phenomenally fun. In his field of view for some time. From the audio bomb, change to the way her guns field. interact. Yeah, and they ended up using um, uh, they are the red team their sound barrier because they know how the updated look. This I think Tracer is fantastic is right now. To, tough to get through. It's so difficult to get underneath that choke. I know, get underneath that bridge and make its way through. And right, we're gonna see some, some break. changes here. Is uh, that'll be a brig that comes in uh, for the Dallas Fuel the Red Team. <sighs> To go through uh, shield, that's a good question. Wants to really, you know, try and stop glister from flanking. Also, I don't. I this sombra is a fucking menace. I do not like sombra at all. This is the worst change ever. Good aggression perfect. there by but super no, getting in. Uh, the sombra play from Tyo and in, in, in sort of going for hacks oh and my not God, he still died. Guilty stuff from super there to find four. And Tyo, obviously, yeah, he hacks, doesn't get revealed, or at least he does for. A, I think tank know, death for tens are gonna shoot up pretty high. Stay in stealth. He's revealed there by a melee hit from Doha, who spots him, and Tayo has to get out with the translocator. And you see the, those, like, yeah, individual big HP on plays Diva. are now... That was only from, like, a right Sombra and two, Soldier. Like a biotic grenade right there, able to finish them off. It's gonna be a nano boost here on a super. They're trying to hold on defense. Sorry, Tracer. Yeah. Good defense by the looks of the shock and field account. Oh, that was dirty. Oh my god, that was so dirty. I want to see that again. Here on a super. This They're looks this looks so defense. fun. I think this is this is top notch. Oh, oh my god! My god. <laughs> I did it. You, 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 I can already feel that right now as as a you know what I mean as a tank player having. I I one of those things that's really frustrating is an Ana that's backtracking and you know she has a uh, sleep dart. So if you come out of your bubble, she's gonna just sleep you and you're dead. But man, dude, that that fucking right click charge up, which is like, I see you, bitch. That shit looks fucking Shot from the crisp. It looks like a scatter arrow on the uh, on the. That looks screen, crisp. But it's pretty darn effective in the game itself. That's two for Violet as well, and Hanbin is the last one standing. Over time, will be shortly by the looks of things here. As Hanbin is knocked out of his mech, and that so here's the concern the for me right now. Two checkpoints and Winston. Doesn't actually look that bad. It looks doable. Yeah, so pretty good offense there. Uh, Diva the looked terrible. It's very difficult Diva didn't even look apart. existent no right there. Like, right. Diva looked like underneath the bridge and kind of pushed. You know what I mean? Like the second Hanbin went Diva, like I felt like they just couldn't do anything any longer. Clock, you know? It's kind of like but Winston. Wager, like, do we have enough to get Winston? Over the line, even at that's the why end, where they had to use even on the current build of Overwatch, buffing Winston is a really dangerous game to play. Because if you buff Winston almost any way, you kind of break him, you know? You kind of just absolutely make him a menace. So, I'm curious how these other tanks are going to work. I think, I think Winston, I think a good way to say that the game is healthy is Winston is good. If Winston is good in almost every situation, good, not broken, but good, that's a good way to say if the game is in a good spot or not. Uh, really, a duel. I wouldn't say Winston is good on this spot right now. I think he's alright, but. Oh my! <laughs> that is. Okay, as cool as that was, as cool as that was, I think Roadhog 
If Roadhog stays the same for the next game, we're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. Little gimmicky map, but it pays off for their final kill on the enemy yeah. tracer, which is huge. And uh, how I mentioned, Diva has great defensive capabilities with like defense matrix and uh, I know mobility. Yeah. Roadhog's main uh, defensive uh, capabilities is just his body. God damn. Just kind of blood. It just kind of takes up same, space with his the body. That's the same for walruses in the Arctic Circle, man. That's acceptable. I don't know anything about that, so I'm just going to trust you on that one. Interesting. Well, Super finds another hook there. Sparkle's dropped in the back line, though. He's starting to put a little bit of pressure on Violet. And Han Bin joins him. That sole tank for the Dallas Fuel, assisting with the dive right now. You know what, you know what the, the thing is, though, right now? Is everybody's running Lucio, right? I mean, they're... Shock isn't right now because they're running Ash just as I'm sure they'll go back to Lucio. But Lucio comps just look fun, void, you know? Lucio comps just look fun. From the fuel in a and that's always been true. Most Lucio comps have yeah, always looked fun. You know, being able to see Hanbin here play the But diva, I think Hog... So here's the problem with Hog. Anytime a tank has a one-shot that's not like a super hard ability to hit, it's oppressive. Sigma. Sigma was technically... Sigma's one-shot was Rock, left-click. So Sigma used to have, um, I think, what was his damage? It was like 50 per left click with the orb and then rock. No, it was 45 and rock was 110. So you could rock somebody and left click them and you'd kill a 200 HP uh, squishy, right? Super said Lucio feels bad. I mean, we'll see later, but right now Lucio looks fun because you can just speed in and stuff like that. But we haven't got that far. If the comps become more poke-like, which we haven't seen poke yet, really, more poke, Zen is stronger, Brig is stronger, Bap is stronger, etc. And Ana is even decent, you know what I mean? Like, well, we'll see. But Hog being, having that one shot is kind of, you know, kind of like, for, honestly forces you to have an Ana, right? Like, what beats Hog right now? Nade blows up Hog. It just makes him, like, useless. Diva. Diva flying in and, and, and DMing hook slash just like taking the hook, etc. Like those are really strong. So I don't know. I, I think Hog is Hog is, is one of those really heroes right now. Around. I think the game okay, this is my hot take. I think the game is in his best state when Hog is dog shit. When Hog is bottom of the barrel, the game is in the best state. Because dive can be good. Um, because you know, double shield even double shield having uh you know brig kind of makes what it the most strong, but like if you go like hard dive, Arissa thing, Arissa, Arissa Hog, uh, Brig, Z Brig Zen, or like Brig Ana or something like that just like kind of like fucks a lot of shit. Uh, even Brig Bap, or you know what I mean? Like they fuck a lot of shit pretty hard. Sorry, Six, dude. I'm sorry. Like, I that's just my hot take. It's I think when Hog is shit, that's when then well, that's when we're having the most fun. And the reason that's not good, not done yet. This is not good, is because the reason tank queues right or queues right now aren't twenty minutes. I think is a lot of times that there's like DPS and support players that flex queue to get tickets, and they get tank a lot, and they just play hog. You know what I mean? Like hog is is a DPS player's fun tank. But if hog isn't fun anymore, you know what I mean? If hog sucks, then those players don't want to play play hog. You know? How do you know if hog is too strong? Does J3 play hog? Dog. If J3 is is queuing tank and playing hog, that's how you know hog is too strong. Super that's my that's my hey, trying to get the that's my analysis like of the community. Really that's all I'm gonna they say. They weren't able to capitalize on it though. Can't been there is a little low, but he's gonna try and occupy the that area above the bridge. I mean, there needs to be a lot of healing here. Look at all the damage coming. Han Bin's way. He's gonna be desuited now. That you see Han Bin go boom? Did you guys hog? see that? That's actually a nasty stick. Watch Han Bin. Fire format looks even scarier. Hanbin literally went boom. Diva. It, it's just so much mobility able to control the high ground. You see, you're really trying to play around. I know if you're the shock, really. He just took one right hog. click, you're by the way. Trying to get the picks just like how they did early on. Just they took a second able to capitalize one. Capitalize on it though. Hanbin there is a little low, but he's going to try and occupy the that area above the Oh my bridge. god. Even with the DM. The, after that DM is gone, Look at all the damage coming you can't play Diva the same way. His DM ran out and then he played oh Diva the same way. He goes in for the fly hit and flies out. Just doesn't have the, doesn't have the ability to do that anymore. You can't play Diva like that. That's crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a whole hog from Super is uh, trying to just pick up any kills. That was actually a really yeah, nice little right hog. Put it on the wall so he walked in and then trapped him on the wall instead of hitting him out. That was actually nice. 
the hardest heroes uh, <coughs> in the game, but we're going to see Super Switch off. He's going to be playing the Reinhardt. No, a lot so, of people used to meme uh, Super as like the main uh, tank or Reinhardt one trick, but like he's actually got like two scary good at like every charge tank. Charge a bit better in the extra fire strike. Like fucking scary nice good. Up there, the bonnet grenade made it uh, impossible for Doha to be it. That's a beautiful. It's actually point beautiful. Helix rocket connects. Thanks. Pio tries How to blink across the gap at him. Teams that have two tanks players on roster, but one tank on OW. You haven't watched Overwatch League. Uh, free agency right now. Tell me a single team that has more than one tank player. I'll wait. Uh, probably Atlanta. I think Atlanta's like the only one. Or maybe like... There's probably like two teams. I don't think many teams have more than like four players right well, now. the Dallas Fuel look absolutely frightening right now. Not much yeah. progress to speak of for the shock. And uh, I mean, you, do you want the real answer? The real answer is... People are going to be out of a job. That's just fact. A long way to go. It has been difficult for them to make any progress. I mean, even Super's uh, free agent. Choice free agent. You see, like, kind of all these split off one on one engagements, and you know, they kind of coalesce and you know, a few players left for each team. They kind of come together in a team fight. And Dallas has just been so good at these. Dexter, nice work. Swings oh, into the doorway to make sure his team yeah. benefits from that sound barrier. I guess it's a little bit easier to make sure the whole squad gets a sound barrier now, but Jexa could have done it if it was difficult. Sure. <laughs> a lot of pressure on Super here. Even though that didn't look fun. That power steering installed, right? That we've seen. You can, you know, obviously. Call I take. I think the power steering sucks. A much more easily can turn. I think the Ryan power charge. steering is dog shit. Still a little bit of mobility. Yeah. Like the way it, like the way it works, like the way it handles, like based on your WASD, is dog shit. Like it, it turns Pressing too hard. In like if anything, you got to make it like incredible play, mouse play. From like I don't know if like you can do it off your mouse. Fuel, but a but fielder doing also twelve hundred HP, Ryan. I know Super said this. It looks dog shit, and he said it feels like dog shit. I think 1,200 HP uh, shield. <laughs> so here's the thing. This is actually something that got kind of brought up in our conversation um, with Blizz, because they talked about the community wanting less shields, which is true. But when you when you flop to a single or switch to a, a single shield game, it's what problem people had with shields was double shield. Double shield was annoying as fuck because you'd break one shield, and another one would appear. It was impossible. Having less shields is good, yes. But having one shield and then making that even less and less and less and less and less, like you're you're playing a scary ass fucking game. You know what I mean? Like you're basically throwing us back to Hog Zarya meta where we just played Widow Hanzo and both the tank players sat there looking at each other like, is it safe yet? And then your 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 widow dies, you go, uh oh. Yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you just kinda lost, you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, CS go on roids, honestly. Um if Overwatch 1 people can play with Overwatch 2 people, they will be changing Overwatch 1 competitive to 5v5. Or is it... Keep it currently? Oh, man. it's It really does scare me. Like, And I mean, there's nothing against you, dude. Like, it's not meant to be hurtful and personal. But, like, it's scary how out of touch the community is with this shit. Overwatch 1 will not exist the day Overwatch 2 comes out. The games are going to blend. You, If you own Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2 competitive PvP automatically updates into Overwatch 2. And you don't have to pay for it. You pay for the PvE. So PV Overwatch 2 PvP is free. You're going to get that update. But you can't stay on Overwatch 1. It won't exist. Anyways, though, I think uh, I think this whole second, he actually sleeps Ryan Shield being this trees, low is so just awful. I, I, I think it's going to be bad. Like that, gonna because be look at how spread everyone can play. Like, what are you going to rush on to? There is no rush Still right there. For the high ground now. He's waiting for a and they want previous. the more brawly yeah. style. That's what they said. Super, but like, what do you do? Well, what, what do you do? The rest of the Dallas field would Normally in that situation, Super's clearing corners and your diva would DM over your head while you walk through the choke because you go left, right, up. You know what I mean? Like you can't look all the ways at once. That four, right. So, you know, like you're trying to do your job. It's almost impossible. You have to walk out looking up. You can't check. seconds left in the round. Uh, Chuck into the prime. Do appreciate it. To that first checkpoint for their first time bank extension. Yeah, we they, keep they our do current rank. Yeah, like, don't ask. We can't ask me questions. I don't know the answer right to. Now. Come on, man. I'm not. I'm not fucking Jeff Kaplan. I mean, where do you I mean Jeff Kaplan's not on the team anymore. Ground. But I thought I'd make the joke because my name is Jeff. Super shield being circumvented by Doha, who drops into the back line. Hefty God's been eliminated. I didn't even see Super. Oh, there he goes. He went boom. Doesn't have the shock and Wow, that did not look fun for, for, for shock right there. there it is. Strong showing by the that Dallas did not look fun for shock. 
And to be honest with you, that's a lot of like what Dorado is. That first point is really strong, and tanks are a big part of taking first. Taking first on Dorado is very tank oriented. If your tanks can't contest high ground and can and contest through the choke, you're gonna get fucking rolled most of the time. Oh, so that scares me. Dorado looks even worse than it kind of currently does. Okay. How much time do we have left? We have 50 minutes. Thank you. I don't want to quote you directly, but if the whole idea was to get rid of double shields, why not make a different group to select from? We're not totally disagreeing. I actually pitched this um, one time, and I said, uh, why don't we make a one shield tank rule? Like, if you pick one shield tank, you can't. The other ones get locked. Didn't get an answer for it, so I don't have an answer for you. But... From what I'm thinking, they don't want to isolate the player base because tanks already such a low played rate that if you queue up and you only want to play Ryan or you only want to play Winston or you only want to play Hog, you know, and somebody else picks that hero, that role, you're just like, well, what do I do now? You know, and you just fumble around on a hero you don't like. That's what I think, which I don't think is good. I just, I'm telling you what I think the answer is. Um, But, you know, as a, you know, I don't have a good answer for you because I never got one. And I asked a similar question. So I can't really answer you, to be honest. I'm on fire. Um, rounder things to the prime. Pop champ. Okay. Uh this is nine minutes. So what's blast through Havana and then we'll watch Super's POV. We'll watch Super's POV. Welcome back everybody to another of our Overwatch two play yeah. tests featuring. Let's blast this through this, okay? Got such a, I've actually seen a good amount of this, a so I can't, you know. You just really um, about but this is the, the classic Havana hold close, those, uh, uh, May, well, actually, May watch. Sim, hold close with Ryan Comp. This is a, a staple of Havana when it's not double shield. Yeah, so I will get a chance here with Spark. So also, I, when I watched Super uh, Stream, so this is actually part of the stream that I watched. Works, he said that Bastion is just ain't it. Bastion does not feel good. Bastion like kind of sucks. Uh, Which, to be honest with you, is kind of disappointing because I actually enjoyed uh, and also the, uh, the Bastion changes. Airstrike. I thought they were cool. But Blister on the Symmetra. I thought the Bastion changes were actually no really cool. But apparently, they're really bad. Close to the spawn door so let's do power map. steering. And you can well, actually, that, it looks like Super can really control it there. So maybe they changed the way. Bastion now being able to take his My concern about power steering is when I tried it on the April Fool's patch and with this workshop with SVB, it was very hard to control. But it looks like he it's oh, actually not that bad. So maybe I Bastion may have to reevaluate that. that fast, uh, during that turret mode, but being able to relocate is pretty important here out of the gates again. There'll still be a Bastion for Sparkle. Doha switches over to the main. Is that Maywall? Goes up, just kind of blocks some of the damage coming in from the Bastion. So you see both teams just kind of posturing now. As I like the, the getting aggressive. This looks fun. This actually, this looks so fun. Going up but it also looks like the Bastion doesn't really do much. They have so for those who don't know, Bastion's been changed. So his turret form is on E, and his normal primary fire is a, like a DMR. But it looks like the DMR doesn't do much uh, pressure at all, like to shields. easily finds that pin now, and has already brought up an Earth Shatter, so... Sparkle, unsurprisingly, he's going to have to switch to the Pharaoh, but that amplification matrix means he's in deep trouble. Finally, able to find the kill. The solo effort here from the Batiste. And uh, with the ant matrix, it really becomes like You know what? Actually, kind of, it looks like the supports this, actually this just are much more fraggy for the shock and in this, but they're not changed. So it kind of like shows you how strong they currently are on like from the 6v6. The Dallas fuel on the red team is they're just even more impactful, the, uh, you know, best like DPS-wise. Uh, Not ultimate-wise, which is good, though. Is how I'd rather awesome them have more DPS, which by the way, nice, night, uh, nice TP. So I'd rather have them doing more damage than yeah, have more support ults, because support ults are kind of oppressive right now. Bad way, in a way that sort of makes sense, considering uh, just this transfer of momentum, considering you're actually <clears throat> firing rockets. Nice Fair though. Fair is one of those heroes that's kind of scary. I think with Overwatch too, because you know you have your your main tank that takes more space, whether it's Arissa, uh, Winston, etc. And then like you pick like Diva to like help with the Pharah. But like you play against a really good Pharah Mercy and you don't have good hit scan, like what do you do? You know, Pharah Mercy in the sky, and I mean maybe you just delete them. Apparently, that wow, that looked. He maybe with less, maybe with less healing, that's actually not that powerful. So maybe, I, maybe you, yeah, look, I think I, if you're playing a DPS, you gotta consider that. I guess. Holy fuck! Like you're having an Deleted. Impact, like you know, 
I guess, you know, the impact you're having is proportional to, you know, the fact that you're firing. Soldier rockets, sound buff. Right. Uh, and I definitely think that that's been captured in a big way here. Doha, this is a classic one from him. The Hanzo Dragon Strike going to go through the store here. Sound Barrier going to be used as Super sleeps it off for the time being. The cart's on the move. Can we take a second shock. and appreciate that goddamn dragon? Doha, this is a classic one. We appreciate this dragon. From him, the Hanzo Dragon Strike going to go through the store here. Blizzard team, when they design shit, they go fucking hard. They don't know how to balance for absolute dog dick. But when they make something to look pretty, they goddamn do it right. And we all see it with the skins all the time, but that dragon looks magnificent. Sound barrier going to be used as Super sleeps it off for the time being. The cart's on the move and or the shock are in an odd position here yes this is hello <laughs> i mean they have pushed all the way up soldier looks door, actually right? strong as car. fuck i think they've really made a difference even like you wouldn't play this position without like the may and the sim and some other heroes that can be used in a more stationary sense but you know, with the 76 right the sight lines are i wonder really if kree nice goes to the wayside without having, having his flashbang which apparently kree doesn't isn't gonna have his flashbang no, at least possible you know that's like what they're trying right, to hope for. for so like, here, but only 20 is he gonna be useless compared to Soldier? Because Soldier looks now. fucking awesome. Down? Gonna be an amplification matrix and an immortality field thrown down by the Baptiste. And okay, a trade of kills. Sparkles down, but Violet, the lion share of healing is missing now for the shock. But Glister finds the finish on Fielder. Now, I mean the field are running on fumes. And look <laughs> okay. at this out of nowhere. So this is actually something I saw on Super Stream. But like, look at this really quick. The finish on Fielder. If you guys don't understand the power of steering, oh, that's quality. Look at the power of steering right here. Watch this. So super pins from over here. Now comes in. You see him? He's right here. Normally you just hit the cart. He actually maneuvers around the cart and then turns him into the post. Like that's how how good the power of steering is <laughs> look at this out of nowhere it's an rko from super huge charge and pin wow, damage is nerfed as well it only does 225 you know, a, a lot damage. of these games have been um really close but pin damage is only 225 and, and to be honest with you i thought that was a bit of a mistake know, the shock, but, but after watching more of this it kind of makes sense because it looks like you're gonna hit it much better. more that is 25 yes i mean even by overwatch esports standards this is uh ext extremely potent defense yeah there's so much more of this map to see all right let's skip ahead how it is for a map is a <clears throat> frightening sight there's the shock look to be running the bastion here with a may i know on the off so this is vid soldier just kind of ran around and no one can do anything about it he thought that without someone like diva to dive him and soldiers kind of busted uh, I don't know if I'm ready to use the word busted. I don't know if I'm ready to use the word busted. Soldier hasn't been busted since season three of, of normal Overwatch. You know? Soldier basically gets shut down by tanks and shields and DM, etc. So I would honestly leave Soldier where he is right now. Even though he looks very strong... I'm okay with Soldier looking very strong because Soldier is one of those heroes that's easy to balance around. He's very easy, easy to balance around. Um, and I think tanks are going to be a big part of that. And I think tanks need a little bit of changes. Can I be honest with you? This the left click looks terrible. With this Bastion, watch this. Bastion here with a May. I know on the offense, and you can see Bastion's change in that. Wow, that looks just not fun. Right, so right click looks that looks pog. Slower rate of fire, but much less spread. Look at this. You can. Yeah, it just doesn't really look yeah, no spread. It doesn't look fun no to spread. shoot. Yep. Feels a little more impactful, I think, than sort of just spraying. Does it feel more impactful? Now this looks fun. If you can get an angle now like this, this looks fun. It's, it's not doing as much damage as I thought it would do. Being able to move but that looks fun. A little bit slower. I think it's you know, left click though. They gotta change either the way the animation works or the way that fires or or the way like the response is because it like it looks like from a handling standpoint Off angles, it's not fun tons of damage. yeah i used to say that playing bastion was like playing the cello in a marching band right you have to keep setting up oh and, god and the insta hack up again but now you can do it on wheels glister though doesn't quite have the talk to get him out of uh Hanbin's super purview, still though. hacked yeah, by they, the they way so the you, feel that's part of what makes him so strong right this is a part of what makes Sombra so strong. Watch this. Again, but now you can do it on Wii. You see Super still hacked. Glister, though, doesn't quite you see Super still hacked. Have the... the reason this is so strong, in my opinion, is even in a, a thing like this, 
There's that second that you have to take as the soldier here. When you turn this corner, you know they jumped out the window, right? You turn this corner and you look left to see where they are. Now, they could have went underneath. They could have rotated back out into this building. They could be where they are now, right? And it takes a second for you to turn and, like, locate them, right? With this eight-second hack, there's Could not go, even a yeah, delay. They, they like, you're just, immortality. you immediately know how they're set up, and you don't have to take Build any out. type of risk uh, making that corner. Uh, that's so right small, in but in high-level play, that's so big, because you'll know exactly where everybody is, especially off a tank hack, because it lasts so long. Yeah, Having walls on a single hero for that long of a time helps you out so much as a team. See, even with the Lucio, right, with also clogged how they're playing this composition uh for the shock it's been difficult for them to track down some of the members on the dallas heel because they're playing so spread out right it's a composition that really wants to you know play on the individual strengths of heroes and one-on-one -on -one matchups there's no fuel to zenyata left now and uh the fuel might want to be touching in just a moment so how moves up emp That's bam. <sighs> another 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 part of the brokenness check everybody's health Health check. Health check. Health check. Health check. Health check! Oh my god! Oh. That's massive. Send health damage and of course that initial hack. That's nasty stuff. Sparkle going to uh, capitalize here from the high ground. And Super, Cow is behind his shield. Sparkle deals with Tyre. There's no way they come back and do this, right? I mean, Sparkle has... I mean, he's gonna not going to buy the shield right now. That's Hack Fighter. He's half HP. 100 HP, and there's a shield in his way. This Gambit might not have paid off. Shield taking Super, a ton of though. damage, though. Move back. Immortality field has to be used as a sound barrier, but Glister won't be around to benefit from it. The transcendence looks much easier to see the area of effect of that ability. And it's a That's true. That is very true. Enough to force the shock back for now. Yeah, now we're back to an even fight, right? Everybody at full strength. What are we getting close to here? You're getting close to the Glister, Pulse Bomb, and the Super Shatter. And it looks like they're going to take a, a different angle. Look, this is where Diva is really beneficial, right? You can have 67% uh, you know, to the, the next proper. EMP also, already. Nice. Away. And you have the that sound barrier available. Blister, it's a stick. He gets rid of the Soldier 76 oh. and Jex, it was very low. That is a game-winning play from the Tracer on the high ground. Self-destruct there, but there's no way Harmbin's going to get back in the mech. It's just Doha on his lonesome. And the San Francisco Shock get across the line. A short-lived Stoush on Havana. And the Shock take it away. A lot, a lot of taking there. I'm going to go. There's something very important to take away here. Both games... Had a full hell, a full hold. Shock got full held, and Dallas got full held. That's scary. You know why that's scary? Well, think about that one. Having a double full hold like that means, well, first off, you might sit there and be like, oh, Dallas were shocked so better than the other team. No, it's like, not really. Like Those are both escort games. Escort games are much less deathmatchy than any other type. Twist things to the rounded. Control and even push look very deathmatchy. And it looks like, you know, they, they flow that way. But you can do that on control. I mean, sorry, on escort. You have to play cart in some form or fashion. And it looks like, to me, that's very difficult to do. 5v5. Burinos? Okay. This is the map New York. I'm assuming this is the third game that we could watch on the other channel. Um, we're just gonna watch Super's POV because I'm more interested in tanks than anything right now. Um, and I've heard some things about this first fight. So this is a hybrid map. Diva sounds cool.
that poor guy in chat. As a diva main, I'm excited. Oh. What? Um, I'm so sorry, dude. Let's watch that again. 26. So, he got demacked in three seconds. You know what three seconds is? Defense Matrix. What are they running? Oh. They're running what, what would likely be the strongest comp in Overwatch 2. Do you know how much damage is on this team? First off, hot take. So, Hanzo is a necessary evil right now in Overwatch 1. Overwatch 2 needs to be completely reworked. Completely reworked. Um, he's a tank buster. His storm arrows do like 500 damage or something like that. And they're not including like, I don't even know, I don't even know how much it does, including the headshots and shit. It's broken. Storm Arrow is literally a tank buster. Soldier, as we all seen, is very strong, so he does high damage. And Baptiste, which is literally just the support 76. I cannot say I'm surprised at how fast he went boom. And to think that these this hero is still okay in Overwatch 2, I hope to God he's been looked at, but I know he hasn't because I brought it up. Armor doesn't mean shit, like, in this case. Wow. That looked... not like fun. Also, what is that angle of Diva? Let me be honest with you. So, uh, Ryan, according to Super, doesn't feel good. Like, Shield doesn't feel good. Uh, Diva, as we all see, doesn't feel good. Hog, apparently, on this map doesn't feel good. Uh, this map in particular. I have to say, though, that three second DM, this used to be an Overwatch 1. So, if you're new to Overwatch, this used to be the norm. Look at this. See, so Ryan dies. That is, that is a lot of DM. But to be honest with you, it almost I don't think it's enough. I think it needs to be changed somehow. Like, D.Va doesn't work as a single tank. She just doesn't. She's a support tank. You know? A supporting. You know? she She's an enabler. So I think the other side goes D.Va as well, just to, like, just try it out. Because I heard it was a lot of testing at this point, because it was, like, last map for some of them. That just looks rough. The fight for this train is kind of cool. Like, this looks like Rhine Heaven. Is he going to go for the D mech? I mean, the mech kill? Okay, super. I don't know about that one. Um, But he's 56 to ult. Have you noticed? He's two minutes in, and he's 56 to ult. Like, this just, like, it's just not impactful, you know? Yeah, they're all, I mean, they're not all trying 100%. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. Like, they're not all full juice, like, Overwatch League is on the line, you know what I mean? Like, they're having some fun at this point. Like, there's a little bit of trolling, a little bit of meme, right? Nothing's wrong with that. Which, by the way, wait a minute, they were capping? Wait a minute, what? Did that not make any noise? Is there no is there no noise indicator for for capture objective? I can barely hear a tick. It's so quiet. Yeah, then no, that's terrible. I, I hope to God that that's just they're just trying stuff. That's awful. That's not obvious. Look at that three second DM. God damn, okay. You know what, it looks like D.Va's just the ultimate 1v1 expert right now. It looks like D.Va just dominates 1v1s. <laughs> Anything more than a 1v1, she just pops. I'm on fire. 
Okay, it's just for the stream. Okay, cool. Thanks, Clark, for the year tier one. Appreciate you, dude. Thanks so much for hanging with me for the whole year. I think we're gonna go for bomb there. See how they all have overshield? It's from that's from beat. Interesting to say that the beat Lucio doesn't feel good, but everyone's playing it. I mean, mostly just because it's fun, you know. They lost point. Well, I break. Is that, that's somber, dude. That somber is fucking terrifying. And on top of that, too, fucking. Yep, here comes the sombra. Yep, there it comes. I don't know where I heard this, but I, I heard there was like a like an agreement between teams at one point to like not play sombra anymore. So of how oppressive it, it was. I don't remember where I heard that, but. said that I will say ball looks not as terrifying as I thought he would but then again this is a rush league so they know how to deal with ball way better than most ladder plebs. We're just doing a little bit of exploring here. The way they uh, they attack this, by the way, I'll show you. We'll see it when on the attack, but the way they attack this this point is actually really cool. So they come over the top left, top right of this green area. There's like a little parkour jump you have to do to make it. It's so cool. Like it's like it's crazy they're already using the map so well. Like their first time ever touching it. I'm inter I wonder if they're playing Diva just to like keep playing Diva and like see how it feels, or because Diva actually is the pick here. Because let me be honest with you, I don't like I just don't see Diva's value. Like you know what I mean? Like she's ultimate one v one er, and I think she's pretty decent against Ball, but like. Whenever you make any type of aggressive play, like just like right there, you just explode, you know? And I think that's one of the things that tank sucks right now, is especially like if you play like Winston comps. Winston comps right now in on the live patch of Overwatch are much more, you sit there and farm support ults like Nano and then go. Eat the pulse one, I think you meant to. I look like an Ewong eat. I will say that the one second hack is way better than the fucking like six second hack you have on live. Like, that is definitely a good change. That is definitely a good change to change hack to one second. Honestly, I. That's. You know? <coughs> that's very good. But I, I don't think the invis hack is, is healthy. It's definitely not healthy. I'm even okay with EMP doing 40%. Just, just the invis hack gotta go. Ball really just doesn't look as strong, and I'm so surprised by that, actually. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but it just doesn't look as powerful. Oh, yeah. Okay, so D.Va can 1v1 almost anyone, except the ones that start with B and end with Rig. I'm on fire. Howdy, howdy. Thanks to the Prime. And uh, Dristig, thanks to the Prime as well. Sure, you guys. Yeah, they're kind of getting rolled here, I'm not going to lie. But at least it's not a full hole, you know? That gives me a little bit of hope, but not really because I don't think Divas is good. I think that Shock's at a little bit of a disadvantage here playing the Diva, you know? But obviously they're just they're trying it just to try it and see how it have fun with it, you know? But I think that's the scary part, you know what I mean? It's like, this is ideally the strongest Diva ever, and it still sucks. And that right there is why Brig is good. She still has her knockback with Whip, even though she doesn't have Bash anymore. Um, you know, 
it's it's still extremely strong. Actually, I hope we get to see it, but Bash apparently just looks awful in this. Because there's no there's no bash or no stun anymore, so when she bashes it just like it just looks clunky. So I think they need to they need to do something with that. They need to do something with that. I don't know where it is, but I've seen it before. Yeah, it doesn't stun I don't know if it does 50 or 40 damage or 45, something like that. But it doesn't it doesn't look good. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't look responsive. Coin things to the prime, dude. Appreciate it. I'll, you know what? This. I'll look it up really quick. All right. It is 50. You are correct, chat. It is 50. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is where I don't think Ryan's going to be good. But I think if Ryan would have been better up in that. Oh, yeah. That's, that was a good TP right there. So, Echo is busted, by the way. Echo is still broken. Like, the fact that Echo is barely touched... And in this is insane. Like her beam does less damage. I think it's from 250 to 200 or something like that. Um, but Echo should not even exist in her form. In this, in this, so Echo is another tank buster. You can't, in my opinion, you cannot have any tank busters in Overwatch 2. All right, I'm just gonna say it right now. This is my hot take. You cannot have a single tank buster in Overwatch 2. One tank buster literally ruins the entire point of having one tank. Tank busters originally existed because they wanted to counteract high tank comps like goats or or uh, quad tank, etc. Right? Then in two two two, when 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 Echo came out, Echo was very good against double shield. She would blow up double shield because she had very high damage, and it would be harder to like you know like she her her left click was kind of hard to hit on other targets. Um, but she was very good at blowing up tanks. Now, as people have gotten better with Echo and gotten very good with her, now they're actually more accurate with that left click. That's why she needed a couple nerfs. Overwatch 2, going to a single tank format, you cannot have a hero designed to break an entire role when there's only one of them in the whole game. Because that will create an a oppressive environment for the tank player and will also create an unfair dynamic on teams where... If you want to shut down a tank, you just pick the tank buster hero, blow them up, and play 4v5. Even if that hero is not as good versus the others, which, by the way, Hanzo is very good against the others because he is a one-shot hero. But if you're saying something like Reaper, for example, Reaper's not very good against other stuff because he can't get up. He has to be very close to do damage. However, though, you'll still take the 4v5 fight because if that tank player is no longer even existing, you have the advantage with your tank. So any form of tank buster in this game should go. Echo, Hanzo, Reaper, uh, like anything. Like even junk, even junk is a little like I'm a little bit scared of, like, depending on how they design the maps. High, 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 high damage tank busters need to go. Period. They cannot exist in Overwatch 2 for this game to be healthy. That's my hot take. That's pretty good pin. I know pig dog. I know that's a that's a scary. Uh, he will get kited a lot. The tanks since you removed one. Make the mic more tanky. Seeing rain with less health and shield really hurts. So here's the thing. You can't just like buff things wildly, but I do agree and that they do. That's why Diva is the strongest form of Diva we've ever uh, we since we've ever seen, but like Ryan looks nerfed, but they changed him. So he's like changed. I wouldn't say he's buffed or anything better, and I think that's kind of bad. But I think the thing that scares me the most is Mr. A.A. Ron himself, after the Overwatch League playtest during Grand Final, said that he was surprised on how well the tanks performed in that playtest. Meaning, and, and I watched the playtest. We all watched it. That did not look like strong tank play. I mean, like, I'm not saying anything. It's like space and stuff. I'm not saying they're bad players. I'm saying, like, like the play of those roles is is was not strong. Like, it looked, like, very average at best. You know, like... They just, they were there, you know, like they contributed, but it didn't look like they were dominating the game in any way, shape, or form. And to say they look like they dominated, whoa, that fucking scares the shit out of me. That scares the living shit out of me, you know? So, we'll see. Again, they were very, very, 
adamant that a lot of stuff is still being developed and, and can change. And I do believe them to an extent. Like, Winston looks a lot better with Sniper Monkey. Sniper Monkey looks cool as fuck now. You know, I liked the idea of Sniper Monkey at the start, though. That's the difference. Sniper Monkey at the, at the start looked awesome. Just looks clunky. Now it looks crisp and clean. It looks good. But it was also a good idea from the start that I thought was a good idea from the start. Some of these look like bad ideas from the start. And if you pull it... Like, okay, listen. If you have a pile of shit, right? Steaming hot dog shit. But then you take a second pile of steaming hot dog shit and you like spray it with perfume and like put some roses in it, you know, and like give it a little shine. It's still shiny shit. It doesn't make it good all of a sudden. It's still shiny shit. That, that's, that's my fear. Even, even hog cook like that, I don't think is... I, I, I just don't think that that's a good thing for the game anymore. I don't think having, like, one-shots like that or, you know... I, I think it's scary. But Echo is just oppressive. Look at this shit. Echo is literally just dominant. Dude, what the shit is that? Echo is literally just running this lobby right now. Like, if you, if you go back and go through this, I'm sure, you know what, you guys want to go back and count? I won't do it right now, because I don't have a lot more time. I only have about 15 minutes before the new patch comes out, and I have some plans to, to play some stuff on that. But, like, Doha is literally running this lobby right now. Like, he just, ex he is running this lobby. We'll say hog sounds cool, huh? Gun sounds cool. anti nade is, is honestly what shuts on hog. But, you know what I mean? Like, there's not many other counters. I, I feel like Hog isn't going to be that good, but at the same time, like, the potential is there to be insane. You know what I mean? <laughs> it might just be map dependent and hero comp dependent. Like, you might force certain heroes to be picked on the other team just by picking Hog. But then Hog won't be useful. So, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I just don't like Hog. I'm just kind of biased, I guess. You have to have to hit the hook on him to like kill him there. Like it's crazy how much he, he's that echoes running this whole lobby. So Bob, wait, is Bob on point there? My God, Did they changed Bob's HP because Bob just got fucking melted. Holy hell! How they improved upon Hog? You don't need to improve upon Hog. Hog by himself is is one of the best solo tanks in the game right now. You know, it's why Hog's not fun to play with. It's just, it's hard to pick another tank to play alongside Hog. A ri so the old, the old comp used to be Arissa Hog, because you'd play Arissa Hog versus Hog, and then you'd pull over the shield, and as a Arissa player, you would also let yourself get picked up, so that when you popped up, you pop gold, and two things have happened. One, you'd pop up, pop gold, get hooked, and nothing would happen. Or the second one, you'd launch upwards with the same thing. You would still block the incoming damage, right? Or the incoming hook, and you'd save your Hog. Now, both the rest would do that, and if one fucked up, then you already won the fight, because you just hook their hog in, boom, blow them up. But otherwise, then after your gold is used, you then would hook again on the next pull, and you'd kill the extra hog, you know? It was pull pork, you know? Uh, oink and yoink. Whatever you like, whatever your fancy is. But in current, it, he doesn't really have a combo, because the rest of pulls now doesn't work like that no more. So this is what I was talking about earlier. This, this way of, like, getting over here... Like, as you can see from Super struggling right there very clearly, you know, it's it's not exactly, like, you're going to get it on the first try. Like, you got to do a little bit of parkour. But this is so cool. Like, look at this. Like, this is such a cool way to attack this point. Going up and over the fucking scaffolding. Yeah, you just blow up, though, because that's what apparently tanking or watch 2 is going to look like. But, you know what I mean? Like, you can kind of... The, 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 the map design there is actually fucking really cool. In my opinion, at least. Did anyone just hear the squeak of Lucio beat? Listen to the squeak. I won't say anything. Hmm. 
this week. Whole hog sounds much more beefy. Sounds so beefy, like bum, 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 bum. Tanks definitely can't be the ones on cart nowadays, though. I'll tell you. <clears throat> Unless it's defense. Oh my god. Sneaky. Sneaky. Going. Oh my God, cheeks just got clapped. the use of the elimination noise it sounds like it's uh well actually you know what it is what you're missing it's not the elimination noise it's your teammate death noise there's a teammate death noise now listen to this this is how you know a teammate died that noise is a teammate dying how's that annoying that literally, that helps people keep track of their teammates dying, you know? Like, have you ever been mid-fight and the kill feed goes fucking bananas? Instead of having to reference the kill feed at, like, four times mid-fight to see if you're winning or not, you literally count the beeps. If you hear two beeps, but you hear three kills, you know you're, in, you're still in this fight. It gives you, you know... It gives me anxiety from the archives map. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I don't like the archives map it's noise. You know what I mean? That's that that noise is from the sing, the single player campaign. I get that, but even if it was just that, like I love that. That's awesome. Like I honestly, I don't really care if it's annoying or not. Like as a competitive standpoint, that's huge, both to high level and low level players. Like you know how many low level players lose track mid fight? Like they have, they don't even know what the kill feed fucking looks like. I bet they don't. I bet they think that thing on the right side is for fucking decoration sometimes. But the beeps, though, beeps are much easier to keep track of. Oh my god, Hammond guns sound like an AA battery. That sounds awesome, dude. Oh, those sound like those hit like fucking trucks. A little tech. The slide tech. Okay, I see you. So there it is, chat. We were talking about it before. So the overshield health, it's now green. It's no longer blue. Um for anything. Beat, uh, shield, etc. I I don't know about rally. We haven't really seen rally, but yes, rally is oh. Oh, <laughs> Why is it under armor? It's a visual bug, are you sure? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Because all I'm saying is, it, it, we are going to be in some trouble if we, you know, uh, uh, go back. Uh, we all learned our lesson with this shit. Zach, to thanks to the Brian, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, in future meetings, I get to the big dog as well. Okay. So, takeaways. Ryan doesn't look good. Winston looks fantastic. Vol looks better than I... Th not as good as I thought, but good. Diva, mm, Not good. Zarya? Non-existent. Did you notice nobody played Zarya? I'm gonna just say this. Zarya is gonna be the worst tank in the game by far. Like, Zarya just didn't even exist right now. Um, 
doesn't even exist. Uh, Hog. Hog, I think one shots. I think one shots need to be removed. I I don't know what you're gonna do with Hog, but I think one shots on tanks that are not like very low value, like like pin, like like I think pin should be the only like one tap on tanks. Like Winston, I could see if you if you hit somebody with the the right click on Winston as you were in the air, right? Like if you were jumping in the air and hit with the fifty damage, then landed on top of them and then punched them. That didn't that wouldn't be a one shot, but it'd be close. And then you tase them down. That feels like a high skill shot to me. And there's still some counterplay to that. Uh, Hook doesn't feel like there's much counterplay other than just picking another hero to make him useless. Like there's no, it's not counterplay, it's counterpicking, which uh, it shouldn't be that strong in my opinion. Um, we saw no Sigma and Arissa, so I'm gonna assume they're getting reworked. We'll probably get flame four. Move Hog to DPS and nerf his health. It'll leave now, lol. I'd probably leave too. Um. Thank you. Overwatch 2 has two slots for DPS, two slots for support, and one spectator slot. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Now, they told us a million times that a lot of the stuff is still going to be changed, and it's still, you know what I mean? It's still early. Um, but... I don't, I don't know. I just... I don't... I would say it looks better than it did before. But there's a long fucking way to go. And and I can't help but feel like we didn't start working on PvP until like six months ago. Like I feel like there's no way that this is the work that had been done in like three years or two years. There's just no way. Because the changes between six months ago and now are pretty quick. To the point of where I'm sitting there kind of like, if you did all this in six months, what happened in the last two years? You know? It kind of, I don't know. I'm just a little concerned. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, I've heard that the PvE, um, they wanted to make the PvE like a standalone game. Like you could play it like Destiny every single day, and the PvE could be its your main game, which I think is awesome. But, I don't know. They were working on the new engine. Yeah, but you don't need hero designer and balance designer and you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff doesn't need to be on the engine team. You know what I mean? Like like starting to play test and realize what Overwatch 1 would be like. Like and I hate to say it, the the gameplay itself doesn't look that much different than Overwatch 1. Like the engine's upgraded, sure, but like not to the point where movement works differently, not to the point where gun recoil works differently, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of that stuff is very similar. Um, Might just feel better. So I'm not... I don't really think of that as, like, a really good excuse, I guess. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm more hopeful than before. And I'm glad that they talked to us. That's the biggest thing, is this conversation we had this weekend was big. Um, and we'll see where that goes if we start to see some changes um the next time we see more Overwatch 2 footage like whether we see you know another two heroes that get reworked um i, I would assume we see reworks over new heroes for a little bit whether we see new damage numbers etc we'll see um more hopeful but not there not even close yet 